Alright, enough pretending that I know how to play the guitar. Well, let's get on with the fucking video. So, in terms of rock bands, what are the best ones out there? Well, there's too many. I mean, there's way too many. In fact, if I were to rank the best rock bands, it would have to be in categories, which is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be ranking every rock band in every category of rock. For the most part. I'll be ranking them into the best out of that genre of rock and my favorite from that genre of rock. If I don't have a, a personal favorite, then I'll just put one that I think I would like. So yeah, let's uh, begin with the video. And I do have a special guest appearance from a very special someone. just uh not pretending i know how to play guitar because i do know how to play guitar but anyways i am joining samuel alvis on um different rock genres so let's get into it all right let's start off with grunge I mean, what can I say? I mean, for grunge, it's probably going to be Nirvana for the best for me. I mean, Nevermind is one of the most influential albums, not only just in rock, but just in general in the world. So yeah, it would probably be Nirvana for me. And I guess for favorite, I'm, I mean, maybe Nirvana too. I mean, obviously they're pretty popular, and I don't really listen to a lot of grunge, but still, like, I would argue that I listen to some of their songs, and that... Therefore, I would put them as my favorite, too. You know, undisputedly. I'm gonna have to agree with Sam on this one, that Nirvana is the best grunge band out there, because Nirvana, just for me, is a personal favorite, and I feel like not many people listen to grunge that much, so I feel like the best for me is Nirvana, and my personal favorite is Nirvana, because, come on, when you hear this riff you already know what it is but anyways um my honorable mention which i'm doing um is alice in chains because i mean Alice in Chains just hands down is a very solid band. Like, oh, here comes the rooster. It's like, bro, just top tier. For punk, the best is probably The Offspring. Now, I know, I know, maybe I'm a little biased because I do love The uh, Offspring, but still, like, I would argue that they are the best and they're the ones that define the punk genre some people might say that the sex pistols or that black flag or that green day should be on here as the best but i would argue it's you know it's the offspring and there's totally no biases trust me i'm totally not biased against the other bands just because i think the offspring is superior anyways but yeah my favorite offspring song is why you bad i mean that one really gets my adrenaline pumping it's pretty sick for alt i would argue that the best one is Tally Hall. Okay, they're also my favorite, and honestly speaking, probably my favorite band out there. There is no band like Tally Hall. Despite only having two official records, pretty much every song on those two records are absolute bangers. Tally Hall has a sort of like upbeat rock vibe to their songs, and each song has its own unique interesting vibe. My favorite songs would be Good Day, Welcome to Tally Hall, Ruler of Everything, Turn the lights off, and there's one more. Be born. That's it. That's what it's called. So yes, Tally Hall is pretty sick, and there's nothing to say. I mean, they're my favorite alt band, and I would put, I guess, the Vampire Weekend 
in the, in the number two spot because their music is very you know out there and very like international and it has like a lot of like cultural elements to it alternate rock one of my personal favorite genres because it carries most of dad rock i am not soon to be expecting a child but i will say i i like to say i relate to a lot of dad rock my personal favorite band and what i consider to be the best band of the alternate rock genre is shine down now shine down has been around since 2004 they're a very quote recent band actually no they've been around since 2003 so they've been around for 21 years but what i will say they still rock they have a very solid discography through and through and my personal favorite album sound of madness has everything you need you have heavy banging hitters like the sound of madness and then you also have your calm emotional stuff like what a shame the crow and the butterfly second chance call me so many iconic tracks and then you also have one feature that i really love and i thank brent smith for even considering is breaking inside with Lizzie fucking hail that's amazing like come on the two pioneers of the alternate rock genre hailstorm and shinedown in one song together like, that's amazing yeah so my personal favorite and what i consider the best shinedown all across the board and here is my riff for shinedown <laughs> Yeah. In terms of blues, I would argue the White Stripes are the best band. The White Stripes are obviously renowned for the, you know, Seven Nation Army, but I feel like that song doesn't do their discography justice, as a lot of the White Stripes songs have a sort of like blues tone to them. Like, if you were to listen to the Denial Twist or the Instant Blues, you will find that those songs perfectly capture the White Stripes blues identity. And my favorite would be the Black Keys. I mean, their songs are awesome. Fever is one of my favorite songs out there. It's pretty sick. And their songs are absolute bangers. I mean, for like road trips, they're perfect to listen to. They're really funky and they fit the modern blues genre pretty well. Blues. Uh, I don't know a lot of blues, actually. Uh, the only blues I know is Johnny Cash. So uh, put best, just put question marks because I don't fucking know. And um, put my favorite Johnny Cash because Johnny Cash is awesome. It'd be nice if my guitar was in tune, but it's not. So, uh, my favorite Johnny Cash. Let's go. Honorable mention Stevie Ray Vaughan. Even though he's not 100% blues. Still love that Lenny track, bro. For heavy metal, it'll probably be Metallica. Um, but they're actually hard rock. Um, but they're actually thrash metal. Um, 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 um. Shut the fuck up. There can be a band with multiple different genres intertwined into their music. And some genres just overlap. Like, th 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 I don't care if you think it's hard rock, if you think it's thrash. Metallica is heavy metal, okay? It can be considered a heavy metal band. Anyways, so yeah, Metallica is the best one. I mean, those streams on Spotify don't lie. And I guess for my favorite, I would put maybe like a band like Avenged Sevenfold 2 because, you know... They, they are pretty sick, and, you know, a song like A Little Piece of Heaven I really like. I mean, it combines steampunk elements into the song, so that's pretty sick. Heavy metal. Hmm. Well, um, what I will say is, uh, Van Halen, the best, honestly, because they're the most influential band because of the guitars. I mean, Eddie Van Halen is a monster, especially with his tapping technique. I mean, come on. Yeah, 
Anyways, yeah, Eddie Van Halen, or Van Halen, the best heavy metal out there. Yeah, but my personal favorite is Avenged, Avenged Sevenfold. I love Avenged Sevenfold so much. Uh, Sinister Gates is one of the reasons I picked up a guitar, and I mean, hey, Sinister Gates is one of the best guitars of all time, a very underrated one, I should say, that doesn't get much recognition in the metal guitar community, as he should, and then, of course, you have Matt's gritty singing and his powerful cleans that he has dude dude's just a beast and of course you have the rev rest in peace he was one of the greatest drummers of all time if not the greatest drummer of all time and of course you have sinister gates and um zaki vengeance basically being the Schechter brothers i mean when you think of Schecter, you think of Sinister Gates. When you think of Sinister Gates, you think of Schecter. I mean, come on. And here's my riff for um, Avenged Sevenfold. Maybe you guys recognize it. Or how about this one? Honorable mention, I actually have Black Sabbath. Um, of course, uh, Iron Man, nice. And then Dio, um, see if I still remember how to play this. Yeah, Dio. And that's my heavy metal. For emo, I would definitely say MCR, despite it being cliched. I mean, that's probably the go-to band when people think of, oh, an emo band. So, I mean, yeah, but, like, to be fair, they've been memed for, like, a valid reason. Like, there's a reason they've been memed. Like, I would argue that MCR is way better than Panic at the Disco, and MCR is truer to the whole emo identity, and on top of that... Like, okay, Panic at the Disco is great, but, like, no. Just no, they're not all that. And a bag of chips. But still, like, I would argue MCR is the, the king here. It, it's my favorite band in terms of, like, emo bands. I love MCR. It's pretty sick. Uh, Cancer is my favorite song by MCR. I know, I actually have a soft spot for emo bands. I know, that's crazy, but it is the way it is. I would argue Paramore and Glass Beach, which is a really niche emo band that has like a lot of experimental kind of emo undertones to it, are, you know, honorable mentions. But yeah, MCR is king. I mean, what do, what, what do you want me to say? I mean, fucking, what else is there? Emo. Um, MCR, best. I mean, they're, they're just the definition of emo. Like, you, you can't even get away with it. But my favorite, personally, is Paramore. No matter how much people hate Paramore, uh, I know my father personally does, my fiance um, isn't the biggest fan of them, but I love them personally. Yeah, Paramore rocks. I don't know what else to say, except Paramore rocks. I mean, and the singer calls people whores. That's pretty cool. And my honorable mention is Escape the Fate. Specifically, Ronnie Radke. Because this newer stuff is just...
Okay, I'm done. For pop, it would probably be ABBA as the best and also my favorite. I mean, it's ABBA. It literally has zero haters. There are no ABBA haters out there. And if there are, please email me their addresses so I can go deal with them on my own terms. I mean, ABBA is just awesome. I mean, look at the list of songs that I have here on the right-hand side of the screen. I mean, come on, so many classics. Their album, Voulez Vous, and the song itself are just masterpieces. My favorite songs are Angel Eyes, Lay All Your Love On Me, Mamma Mia. And I guess, yeah, Dancing Queen, yeah. Here's something for you. Pop. I don't know where fucking Sam got this shit from to think uh, pop fit in with uh, metal or rock at all. But I will say my favorite pop artist is Seal. Great artist. And that's all I gotta say about pop, man. For new, I mean, it definitely probably would be Linkin Park, I'm not gonna lie. Again, I know it's cliche, but you know, they're just the best. But instead of talking about how great a new band Linkin Park is, let's talk about how great of an indie band they are. And what I mean by that? Well, I mean that their songs actually feel enriched. They don't feel like mainstream songs. They feel like songs that hit close in here. To the heart see Lincoln Park is actually very cool it's very interesting and it feels like a niche band but it isn't it's pretty popular and that's what I love about Lincoln Park it feels close to home songs like lost somewhere I belong and burn it down are all bangers so yeah those are my favorites all right new metal best and favorite Lincoln Park because here's a hot take for you New metal for me is kind of trash. I mean, the pioneers of it, the people that, you know, I guess describe new metal the best, Limp Biscuit fucking sucks. Disturbed, not the best, but what I will say, Linkin Park does the genre justice because of the two pairs. You have Chester Bennington and Mike Shinoda the most iconic duo in metal and rock history and of course you have the newer stuff with emily armstrong which i'm gonna be honest she's okay uh, i don't mind her at all um of course she is very controversial but i don't care just keep riffing away bro <laughs> An honorable mention for the new metal genre is Incubus. I didn't want to say Incubus was my personal favorite, even though it's kind of up there, but I don't think Incubus is new metal. A lot of people say it is, so that's why I'm putting it in an honorable mention. For industrial, it's hard to say. I would argue that it's between Ramstein and Nine Inch Nails. And while they're both badass, I mean, you can't say no to the screaming Germans. I mean, come on. And for favorite, I would put Ramstein because, I mean, out of all the industrial bands, they're also the most badass. I mean, again, like, who can say no to screaming Germans? Songs like Sunday or Mindland are pretty awesome. And even their latest albums have not been bad. But here's the thing. Here's the funny part when it comes to industrial music that I'm going to get back to at the end of the video. Industrial. You mean, uh, the people who pioneer it the best? Um... I think that's how you play it. Um, but my favorite and best is Ramstein, you know, du hast mich, uh, here comes the sun, ach, yeah, it's my very little knowledge of German, but, yes. Ooh, for hard rock, for best, I would argue it's a tie between four bands, 
First being Black Sabbath, which I know are, you know, kind of a heavy metal band, but uh, they're also somewhat considered hard rock. Second would be Van Halen. Third would be ACDC. And fourth would be Kiss. All these bands are legitimate contenders, and I actually don't know which one to pick. I mean, Black Sabbath, despite being a heavy metal band, quote-unquote, it's still pretty iconic in the hard rock genre. And, like, Van Halen inspired so many different, like, musicians and bands, um, you know, growing up. ACDC, their songs get played at events all the time. And Kiss, interesting attires, but their songs are so, like, badass yet melodic at the same time. Like, they have, like, a kind of groovy, upbeat funk to them. I would honestly argue that Kiss could also be considered maybe, like, a pop rock band, too. So, yeah, I would argue those four are the best. And since Avenged Sevenfold, technically speaking, would be considered a hard rock band, then I guess maybe I'd put them as my favorite, I guess. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Boom. Avenged Sevenfold, Sam's favorite for hard rock. I'm sure you will love that one. Go Samix. Hard rock. Um, I think hard rock and heavy metal are kind of the same thing. So, um, here's a riff I know. For death metal, I would argue Behemoth. I mean, some of their songs are pretty wild. Conquer is a pretty good song. Some of their song titles are insane. So, I guess they'd fit the death metal category the best. So, yeah, they'd be, you know, number one here. But my personal favorite would, would be Death. I mean, songs like Symbolic were pretty sick. Flesh and the Power is also a fucking awesome song. So, they would definitely get my favorite in this category. Death metal, best in the genre, death, because uh... Yeah, death. Um, I don't listen to much death metal either, uh, but my personal favorite is Cannibal Corpse, because Cannibal Corpse does good. They do the good. My honorable mention is the Black Dahlia murder. Black Dahlia murder. I don't know what it. What, I don't. I don't know what it's pronounced. But I like them. They do good. Queen are the definition of rock. They wholeheartedly deserve a spot. I mean, Queen is considered like the best rock band of all time. Maybe the best band of all time. Maybe the best. People in the music industry of all time. Freddie Mercury is considered the best singer of all time. Queen are just number one. And honestly speaking, I would say they're my favorite, too. I mean, like, they're successful in classic rock, prog rock, some elements of glam rock or try here and there. You know, they have pop. Some people could even argue that some of their songs had elements of hip-hop, but that's obviously kind of a little, like, fringe. But still... My two favorite albums by Queen are Queen 2 and A Night at the Opera. And my two favorite songs are I Want to Break Free and Seven Seas of Rye. Classic rock. Best has got to be Queen. I mean, come on. Queen, Freddie Mercury, his voice is just up there. Up there. Well, my personal favorite is Bon Jovi. Because, um... <laughs> Bon Jovi does good. Um, I don't listen to much uh, classic rock at all. But um, an honorable mention would be the Beatles. Because, I don't know, I just wanted to throw them in there somewhere. For psychedelic rock, undoubtedly Pink Floyd. I mean, listening to their songs back then while tripping balls was all the rage. It still is. I mean, Pink Floyd is just another one of those like timeless bands. That no matter how many times you listen to, their songs are still amazing. Yeah, Pink Floyd is always fun to listen to on car rides, and 
the songs really make you appreciate nature and, you know, the beauty of reality and questioning reality itself and what reality is all about. Their songs really make you think. And my favorites are Brain Damage, The Post-War Dream, Clips, and probably all of the Wall album. So yeah, Pink Floyd definitely deserves a spot. Psychedelic. What the fuck is that? I don't fucking know no psychedelic. Um, but here's an Avenged Sevenfold riff again. I mean, for prog rock, it would definitely have to be between, again, Queen or Pink Floyd for best. Honestly, they're both amazing bands. I just have to give them both the best spot and my favorite spot, too. I mean, for glam rock, I would honestly argue T-Rex is the best. I mean, T-Rex just screams the 70s. Like, their songs feel really organic, and they fit the overall vibe of glam rock. So, yeah, they would get the best. And, you know... I guess as a personal favorite, maybe I'd put David Bowie. I mean, two of the most famous songs ever have been written by David Bowie, one being Under Pressure, which Queen was also a part of. So, again, more bonus points to Queen. And Starman, which was literally a meme that happened earlier this year. So, yeah, David Bowie, ladies and gentlemen. Glam metal? Fucking trash. Um, but... Best Guns N' Roses, Favorite Kiss, and Honorable Mention Poison. That's all I have to say. Ha, 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 stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Ha, 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 stayin' alive. Yeah, for my favorite, I mean, I guess I would argue that Daryl Hall and John Oates are pretty good. Um, their song, Out of Touch, is amazing. It also kind of makes you question reality, and it's really, like, it's really funky to listen to. And things do get funky over here. But they also have other bangers like Rich Girl or Man Eater. For post rock, it would probably be the band called Seeger Ross. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, I'm not too familiar with the post rock genre, but Seeger Ross seem to be the best out of all of them. And it's interesting that they come from Iceland, the wall places, which is pretty sick. And what's interesting is that a lot of their songs felt an angelic-like. Like, they were really, like, interesting to listen to. And they had, like, a sort of qu choir element to them. So, yeah, great stuff. And my favorite is probably Mogwai. I think I'm also pronouncing that correctly. I listened to some of Mogwai's songs, like Kids Will Be Skeletons and Hunted by a Freak. And they were pretty good songs. I couldn't help but notice the amount of different sounds that were going on in the background. Yet they all kind of fit in together into the song. They all blended in into an almost psychedelic listening experience. But instead of making me think deeply, it made me feel at peace. It made me feel bliss. So yeah, good job, Mogwai. You guys make pretty banger music. Now, because Sam is an absolute doofus, he forgot some genres. So I'm just going to go over some um, slam metal. You know, where you just... Except, um, like in drop C, drop C1 tuning, actually. You want to tune it so low where you don't even want to hear it. Yeah, slam. Um... Devourment is, I would say, the best because I, they kind of started it. At least I think I love Slam. Don't know the history of it. Uh, but my favorite is Peeling Flesh. You know, face fucked with a shovel. I know, that was cringe. But, um, honorable mention would be Guttural Slug because, I don't know, that's just another band I know. Here we have Groove Metal, obviously best, Pantera by far, because um, they kind of started it, 
and they're still so popular today even with so much controversy to their name and also Dimebag Daryl with the squeals I can't do it because I have no Floyd Rose or tremolo board and even if I did I probably wouldn't pull it off so here's Walk and E Standard for some reason <laughs> My favorite is Kitty, because Kitty, I don't know, there's something about Kitty. Um, the riffs, love the riffs, um, Cutthroat, my personal favorite, or Die My Darling, love that. But an honorable mention would be White Zombie, or Rob Zombie, whatever you want to do, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And... Here's uh, Deathcore, best Suicide Silence because, uh, mostly the vocalist, because the vocalist is just chef's kiss sometimes. He can do the highs, he can do the lows, um, or my personal favorite, I know this is a basic bitch, um, go, but my personal favorite is Slaughter to Prevail, because Slaughter to Prevail... Alex, of course, um, he taught me something very neat, well, he didn't teach me personally, but he taught me the, um, the guttural thing, not the guttural, he taught me the distortion thing, the, that, that stuff, and of course, honorable mention, Lorna Shore, to the hellfire just that's the only thing you gotta it's the only thing you gotta know to the hellfire and i hope you guys enjoyed um oh we got one more hardcore kublai khan tx don't care what you say not loose his fucking ass okay guys have a nice day for thrash i would argue slayer I mean, this song literally kicks so much fucking ass. I also like South of Heaven. That's a pretty good song. In fact, there's not a single Slayer song that doesn't make you feel like a fucking badass. Like, I literally don't think there is. Dead Skin Man is another awesome song I really like by them. Like, Slayer music is awesome. It literally feels like Doom music. Wait, Doom music? So, remember back in Industrial, how I wanted to mention something at the end of the video? Well, technically speaking, the Doom soundtrack is industrial metal. Meaning that they would probably be my favorite. So yeah, the Doom OST is undoubtedly the best rock experience one can have. And that's the moral of the video. Thank you.